Good morning and welcome to our monthly live broadcast of Peripheral Interventions from Mount Sinai Hospital. I'm your host, uh, Vishal Kapoor, uh, who will be moderating today uh, for another interesting case by PK and his team down in the lab. Uh, before we move on to the lab, I would just want to introduce one of our great friend and a moderator from all the way from Oklahoma City, Dr. Joy Croissant. He's the Chief Scientific Officer and Chairman of Cardiology. It's good to see you, Vishal. We'll get him online. You can see his face right there. But uh, good morning, PK. Let's see what we have in for today. Thanks again. And George, uh, I, I can't thank you enough uh, for this. Let's wait for a second here. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough for getting up early. I know it's uh, normally not a time to wake up in Oklahoma this early. But knowing you and knowing how hard you work, I really, really appreciate it. But I want to introduce our team. Obviously, behind me is Ray Lascano, who has been with us for many years doing these cases. To my right is our associate director, Dr. Karthik Guja. Uh, to his right is our uh, Ibrahim Ali, one of our outstanding endovascular fellows this year. And then, and then we have uh, 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 Robert and uh, we have Elizabeth here, uh, who are our nurses, as well as Damien, our, our uh, you know world world class tech here, who has been unbelievable for us all these years. <laughs> uh, but we've got a really interesting case, George, uh, that we want to talk to you about and and really get your guidance on on how you would approach it. Maybe come to come to some algorithms um, on how how we could cross this regarding wires and also more importantly regarding you know access points you know how what's the time being you know because we all defer in the ways we approach these cases uh to try to you know work through this so without further ado and for the sake of time i'm going to have ibrahim present the case to you george uh, and the rest of the audience to get get started all right good morning everyone um so i'll get right into it we have a 71 year old male that initially was referred to mount sinai hospital with bilateral non-healing ulcers um, the ulcer you see in the picture is similar to the ulcer on the other uh, lower extremity as well rutherford five um, and has had failed interventions on bilateral lower extremities prior to being referred to us uh, he's an insulin dependent diabetic has hypothyroidism has ckd with a baseline creatinine of 15 to 18 today's 14 um, and hypertension. He's a former smoker. His medications are listed, pretty standard medications for any of our That's vascular patients. And on physical exam, he has bilateral lower extremity non-healing ulcers, as you see there. And he has a Dopplerable monophasic DP and PT on the um, left lower extremity, on the right lower extremity. Um, so his prior intervention, we had actually went after his left lower extremity first, and this is the diagnostic angiogram from that. You can see multi-level disease um, in this uh, diagnostic angiogram, including osteo-SFA, mid-SFA, as well as perineal. Um, we ended up doing a uh, Zilver in the proximal SFA, and then we ended up doing a uh, IVL and a DCB in the mid to distal SFA and ended up needing to do a bare metal stent because of dissection there. And then lastly, in the perineal, given that this was CLI, we ended up doing a drug eluding stent in the one vessel, which was supplying the foot. And I'll show you the end result of the procedure. You can see a pretty good result in the SFA. And by the end, we do have really good perfusion in the foot, including the lateral plantar and the dorsalis pedis. So we'll show you a little more, uh, some DSAs of the SFA in just a moment, but this was the run of the leg that we're intervening on today during the, uh, prior to the intervention of the other lower extremity. And you can see that there is pretty severe SFA disease. And then when you get down to the level of the P2, um, you can see that there's a total occlusion of the pop, which reconstitutes in a perineal and an AT. And the AT is diffusely diseased, but it does look like it goes down all the way to the foot. Um, so that's our diagnostic angiogram. Just in terms of classifying this below the knee disease, we got to look at what segments of the pop are involved. Uh, over there in the picture, I have a schematic of the P1, P2, and P3 level, and you can see that most of our flexion and um, longitudinal as well as axial shortening happens in the P2 segment. And uh, on the other side of the um, slide, I just have a list of 
uh, trials and primary patency for the stents that we tend to use in the FEMPOP system, but uh, I have highlighted the number of popliteal patients included in those studies, and you can see that overall we're talking about a very, very uh, small minority of patients that actually had popliteal disease, and most of those patients had P1 disease, not necessarily P2 and P3 disease, just to highlight the fact that we really don't know what the best therapy is for this segment of disease. Um, and then even in our randomized data, uh, PTA versus the life stent from the um, ETAP, uh, we can see that the patency of a life stent is better than just PTA, but obviously nowadays nobody's just doing PTA. We're going to use some sort of drug to treat the vessel. And even in their study, they had a 3.4% fracture rate in their life stent. And overall at the end, their amputation rates were no different between PTA and the life stent. So I don't think that gave us a lot of information on what we should be really doing in the POP space. And even when we look at the impact DCB data, they're only including P1 segments for the most part. So really just a lot of questions still to be asked. Um, one thing to highlight is if we do end up doing a metal scaffold, at least in our institution, we usually tend to do a supera when it comes to these flexion points. And mostly just because of the fracture rate is um, pretty much nothing for a supera. These are slides we showed during a previous live case, so I'll just zoom through them. But um, overall, from the Lipstick Supera uh, data, we have a primary patency of 94.6%. And from the real world data, three year outcome, we have a primary patency at 12 months of 89%. So, very good for the um, Supera stent here with uh, no stent fractures at all. However, one thing to note in TASTI lesions with this, which, which this would be considered, there was a higher predictor of um, occlusion even in the Supera stent. So, things to consider when we're thinking about an endovascular, um, thinking about intervening on a popliteal. Is endovascular the best approach? Is it a total occlusion? What segments are involved? Where are the collaterals? Where's the runoff? Is there a realistic retrograde option? And if we do need a durable scaffold, which is the durable scaffold we're going to use? Um, and then once we get below that, we're also going to be treating some tibial vessels here. And I just have a summary of really the randomized data we have for drug eluding stents below the knee. Um, you can see that our uh, results for Yukon, Destiny, Achilles, Ideas, and uh, PADI are very good, showing better 12-month primary patency in the drug-eluting stents, whether it was compared to just PTA, bare metal stent, or in Ideas, it was even compared to drug-coated balloons, and the primary patency was excellent. The only real caveat to all of this, that Saval, which is a nitinol self-expanding stent with paclitaxel, did not do as good as PTA. And that's really the only negative data we have towards stenting in the tibial space using drug-eluting stents. Um, this is just a showing that the target lesion uh, revascularization, restenosis, and amputation were lower in patients that underwent uh, drug-eluting stent. And this is through a meta-analysis of Achilles, uh, Destiny, and Yukon BTK. Um, this is what I'll leave you with. And it really is just highlights the uh, primary patency of drug-eluting stents and freedom from TLR when we do use drug-eluting stents below the knee. So I think we can confidently use uh, coronary drug eluting stents below the knee when we have to, especially for CLTI. And um, when it comes to bifurcation lesions, obviously all the tricks that we use in the coronaries, we end up using a lot in the tibial space as well, especially in lesions like this. Very nice, very nice presentation. Actually, uh, Guja and I were talking about how wonderfully thought out those questions were. Mm -hmm. So George, maybe we should address, and uh, Vishal and Raman, I heard Raman walking in too, we should go ahead and address those uh, questions that uh, you know Ibrahim had brought up so nicely uh, in terms of us making a decision, uh, because uh, it'll help. But anyway, before we get to that, let me just show you guys the runoff. Uh, so Rutherford 5 patient, iliacs are reasonable, nothing major here to worry about with inflow. Uh, this is the, the Prox SFA. You can see some mild diffuse disease, maybe a little moderate disease in that one short uh, lesion there. And then uh, the, the distal lesion, uh, again, a little bit more severe and the bit distal, especially in the uh, maybe the P1 pop um, has a calcific lesion, sort of similar to the other leg. But the real money here is going to be our popliteal. And you can see here you have an occluded pop. It was attempted, it was probably dissected multiple times. You can see that the DP and the DP does come back and there's a, there's a robust perineal. And the lesion is a small lesion, so it should heal with even the perineal, but our goal today, and we'll talk a little bit about that, is to go after the DP as well. 
Uh, so you can see the perineal is pretty disease free coming all the way down and you can see the DP comes back, uh, you know, very slowly, but does come back uh, with multiple different, uh, you know, areas of, of stenosis and occlusion. And then in the foot, I want to show you the foot before we start. It's always very good to have a, a good foot shot uh, in two views if you can before you see. But here you can see the DP occludes uh, well above the ankle. So we do have a reasonable area uh, to get pedal access. So I guess my first question to you guys before we get started, um, and maybe we'll talk about start with uh, Karthik or even you, George, or whoever wants to jump in. Now, given the best CLI data, right, here's a guy who has a, a um, uh, you know, pro I mean, we, we haven't vein mapped him because we have our algorithm here, which we'll talk about. Uh, but if, say, he has arguably good veins, would this be somebody you would do a fem tip bypass versus a, um, a uh, endovascular first approach? George, why don't you take that yeah, first? I think so. Yeah, well, you know, considering we don't have uh, 16 hours to uh, talk about best CLI and all the hmm. potential hmm. problems. I'll just cut to the chase. I mean, I, in our, you know, what's been new for me, which you've been doing for years, is uh, we we have, you know, a crew of vascular surgeons now. So I think it's worth at least mm -hmm. having a conversation uh, w with vascular surgeons. But I don't even think a vascular surgeon is going to want to do a fem tib right off the bat. Um, and I think. You know, it's a difficult area to, to work in because crossing is its own problem, but uh, I think you've highlighted very well the, the other issue, which is what are you going to do once you cross it? What's your treatment going to be? So uh, I don't think a fem tip right off the bat is the best way to go here. Um, mm -hmm. And Good. we've talked to, we've talked a lot about best CLI in terms of what was really considered answer? best intervention. And, and I don't, I don't think anything, that. most of the stuff you're going to do here when you succeed in crossing this yeah. was not really uh, included as sort of the best endovascular therapy. <clears throat> so George, just for everybody at home, that's a good point. I just want to tell everybody what we're doing. We went with a command uh, because it was dissected, as you see that uh, by the other attempt, as you see uh, with the command didn't do much. So we're really upgrading our wire very quick to an 014 uh, Confianza. Um, I mean, uh, Karthik, Raman, Vishal, what about you guys? I mean, you know, we know our algorithm here, but say we don't have uh, our relationship with our surgeons that we do. Is this, or if you were a surgeon yourself, would you say, hey, you know what, but with best CLI, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do this uh, with a surgical first approach. I mean, he's a good surgical candidate. There's no question. Um, and, and obviously, uh, the patencies with uh, vein bypasses are, you know, on question here with good technical success. So that's my question here. I mean, what do you guys think you would do? Uh, Robin? Yeah, I mean, I've, I think I'm just going to uh, echo again what, what uh, George is saying. I've, I think a, if a fem tib up front as a first option seems a little, uh, it, it's, it's hard for me to, to kind of swallow that, that pill knowing that this is like a six centimeter CTO Track. that has failed once, yeah. which is okay. Uh, no, no, they didn't cross. They didn't cross. Yeah, yeah so so failed. Failed at that. It's a right. failed failed uh -huh. attempt. I mean, uh -huh. okay. as in, I, I have a little bit of a tough time swallowing that pill to say that I'm, I wouldn't try it again from an endovascular approach because you know, obviously right. the details of how they chose to cross the, the techniques that we have kind of employed and kind of like you know, almost like a like a protocolized. Uh, yeah. I feel as if we would have right. you know yeah. perhaps a better success go with dual access and try to, Give me the, to uh, treat the from that approach. Now? I think it really just comes down. If if this if this was like more of a distal SFA, mid SFA, I think then we can have more of a you know more of a of a, of a conversation. But again, you know, such a, such a but, short but, but, wait, distal wait, wait. segment. Think, yeah, but, but I, I, are you are you saying you would bypass a distal mid SFA or no? I, no, I'm I'm saying that they, it would be worth to have the conversation if we're talking about it's in the context of the best CLI data. Right, I think right. It's but, worth to but, have the conversation. I, th mm, I think okay. in this case, I mean, it all depends. I mean, we know that the vein graft patency is very good, but the question yeah. is where are we doing right. the FEP tip bypass and how's the tibial after the anastomosis? If you go, we know a proximal FEM tip, still the patency rate is very good. But now if you're talking about lesions which extend to mid to distal, there where it becomes technically challenging and the patency rate really goes down as more distally start going on to the tibial vessels. So if the disease is extending all the way down, then we really have to see what, how good are our surgical options, especially when we talk about patency and everything else, versus just focal lesion, short stenting, or short uh, bypass is a different story. So in this case, I think I'll agree. Mm. Endovascular approach will probably give, uh, especially having disease all the way down, yeah. would be a good alternative mm, to begin with and at least give mm, it a chance. Yeah. So so we, well, just to give everybody an update, Karthik and I decided here to switch 
to a command wire because we felt that the uh, – yeah, now we need to get the catheter down. Yeah. Uh, push the catheter down, right? So the command mm. wire went down. If it goes, I don't think it will go. So, George, let me ask you this. Based on the C-top classification of how we do peripheral, how would you define this proximal stump? Favorable, unfavorable? Would you just go straight up retrograde by getting a DPPT, uh, DP axis, AD axis? So if you look at if you look at that stump, it looks like it'd be more favorable from a tibial access. But I but I know PK's philosophy, and I and I share it in the sense that I I think that trying from the top is always you know probably the best idea, just so you don't take uh, any unnecessary risk in in terms of losing the very thing you're trying to really save, which is perfusion into the foot. But just looking at it from here, um, right. it looks like it's more favorable from below, but yeah, we'll see what agreed. happens. Jordy, yeah, so so what Karthik and I spoke about with uh, with uh, Ray as well as Ibrahim, well, you know, we want to give it a shot because, I mean, we you never know, right? Let's give it a quick yeah. shot with different wires. We do have a lot of different equipment. I'm sorry, Ray. We do have a lot. You can let go, Ray. Go One for second. it. We do have a lot of different equipment here in Sinai uh, and the availability of all we'll the it, stuff yeah. that we need. Go ahead, Ray. Right. Oh, right. And so, therefore, I think that it's worth giving it a shot. Uh, we prepped the foot. Do uh, Dr. Guja is here. We got the uh, hockey stick probe. We've got everything ready to go. It's just a matter of now going, you know. It's just I mean, a matter of going. Uh, if you have to get a pedal axis yes. here, uh -huh. if you get an 80, 80 again, it's a uh -huh. CTO. Can you go? You're crossing the CTO twice. You have to cross the AT CTO unless you want to get no, into the peroneal okay. from the AT, from the DP. Talk unless you're getting a direct peroneal access. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not going to be. It, it's, yeah, and peroneal is the only thing which is supplying everything. I think it's a favorable well, you thing do, to... you do have the DP in the foot, I think. But again, yeah. you have to cross the AT CTO, right? No, unless... no, I'm saying that we do have that particular one that we could use if we needed to, yeah. uh, you know, with, with the hockey stick. So, yeah, you right. can see here that it's quite dissected here. Let's see if it goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, our... Our wire is certainly not going. I mean, our catheter is certainly not going. Might have to balloon the track a little bit. So and that's, too early too. that's actually it's a it's a good good point that uh, that Carly brought up. If if we were to say that we were going to transition towards getting a pedal axis, which mm -hmm. one would would you guys access the DP or the the peroneal well, here? I mean, I in this case would just go AT a, because a I want to reconstitute my inline flow, and I know AT is already a CTO. So the worst case CTO can get worse than a CTO. So, no. But if you're getting the second axis to ensure that the crossing yeah. will be successful to exactly. encounter that another you're going to be CTO. Successful in the AT. Yeah. yeah. But but remember the the we want to like we are talking about, we want to preserve the peroneal in this case because that, that's the last man standing essentially giving rise to all the lesions. I mean all the vessels to the foot. So uh, trying to reestablish flow through the AT will be the best uh, way to go in this case. I mean, you might have difficulty in crossing it, but retrogradely, we've done cases where we access like access the AT CTOs and reconstituted the whole thing, which is what our goal has been from coming from top as well. Mm. Like PK talked, his goal is to try to connect the pop detail into the AT and all the way down to the foot. Uh, so yeah. I, I think that should and be I, the. I, yeah, and Vishal, I don't think I would discount the difficulties with perineal right. access either. Exactly. I mean, I don't think any of us are chomping at the bit to get perineal <laughs> access. Out. Exactly. Yeah, I, you know, you know, it's it's a great point. And, and I think that's part of the philosophy of what we talked about, right? Like what are, you know, what is the approach and what we do? And it's interesting here, the three of us are in the same institution and the three of us have different approaches to this, right? So I think that that's, this is interesting. So I think that what, 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 what we need to do is figure out, you know, whether we get the other access now and then come from below and above. But I mean, I, I just think that this is pretty badly dissected, as you can mm, see. Yeah. You know, and the question is, we've tried a Stato 20. We've tried a uh, a uh, command wire. Nothing seems to be tracking. So I'm just going to probably bite the bullet here and go with a... Uh, a uh, right there. Right. Try yeah, that. Yeah, like, try that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep trying. But it just I just think that, you know, we, we, we have the... Uh, we have everything. I, don't, I think we're off. We're on top of the... No, I think. you should be good. Yeah. Oh, we're close. Good. We're close. Yeah. But I mean... I, while I keep trying here, I think I'm going to have Karthik get DP access here and go forward. Yes. I don't know. I don't uh, know if I'm in. No, I'm not in. No, I'm dissecting. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's dissecting. I'm, it, was remember, the, it, it was attempted before, right? So, you know, I think it's just, you know, it's going to get in there before. And that's part of the reason. I mean, we could do a high eight DP access and try to get in, oh, right? Yeah. We, we could, get, we could yeah. do a high DP access and try to get in. You know, there's a lot of different things we could do. We could we could try to do dissection reentry with a um, with a Turumo Gold. Mm. You know, there's a lot of different options here, but I think it would be nice to come from. Ah, no, no, no more, Senor. 
Uh, it'll That's be right. nice to come from above and below. So, so George, can you talk a little bit about your your uh, you go ahead. Can you can you bring the uh, can you bring the um, the uh, the yeah, machine just, for us so we can see fetal yeah. access well and put up our IVUS uh, so this way we can uh, we can go ahead not our IVUS our ultrasound yes. so we can go ahead and uh, and show them how it's done. But George, tell me so, a little bit about about when do you go pedal? How how much do you try? As you can see here, George, I mean, I gave a good kit? college try. We would like to be done in an hour, like I told you. Uh, we have a low threshold to go pedal. We're going to go sheetless. We're going to go uh, without, you know, without, without a sheet. Uh, and so this way, probably less trauma to the vessel. So uh, Karthik is going to go ahead and get access from below, and he's going to demonstrate the, uh, the way Raman did at Arch. Um, how to do it, yeah. and and then um, so I'm just curious on your your level of threshold, on how how many attempts you give, what wires you try, and then you decide. Yeah, so in a in a case like this, and, and yeah. Vishal brought up a good point about the C top classification, um, I would try a 018 system. Uh, uh -huh. I would give it a good. I would give it a good go. What's the name of the wire? That, what's the name of the wire you got Increase. stock in? I keep Increase forgetting that wire. <laughs> I wish, Gladius. Gladius, <laughs> <laughs> right? and, if, and if I had used that, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'd be moving on with the rest of the. No, I'm just kidding. So I, I would, I, I would give it a good try with an 018 system. I mean, okay. some of these, believe it or not, I've, I've, I've tried. Uh, and succeeded with 035, but I think 018 these days. And then I think I would quickly go to the DP access. Uh, well, you know, you bring uh, up a good point. You know, Dr. Dippel at New York Conference talked about 035 from below the knee, and Roman and I and Vishal and even Karthik, we don't do 035 at all below the knee. We really believe it's too big, too much trauma. Prox pop, of course, uh, but anytime we're starting to get into the trifurcation or, you know, distal, especially in a dissected vessel like this, you saw how much this vessel was bu buckling mm. and the wire was already buckling. I think 035 we don't normally do. Um, so that's interesting that it was brought up by, by him as well as you now. So, so in terms of 018 wires, you, you saw that we had an 018 catheter that failed to track. Do you go anti-grade on these lesions uh, rather than retrograde, uh, Georgie? I mean, uh, do you go anti-grade uh, or do you go up and over most of the time like us? Uh, most of the time we're we go in. up and over. Okay. Yeah, so so yeah, you yeah, saw Karthik would... get access. Now we just, hold on, let me go into Flora now. So we're just going to go into Flora. Damien, look out, please, with the, hold on, be careful. Uh, just going to go put the wire up through the DP here. Oh, there you go. There, there's the wire going up. So you can see here, now we're going to put our sheet in. Um, not our sheet, our dilator in, and then put an O and A trailblazer, and then we're gonna work from below and above. Can I have some nitro? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I mean, using an aggressive O3 wire, especially in this case, we already have multiple oh, planes. We yeah. can actually create yeah. a plane going into the TP trunk and peroneal and virtually yeah. shutting the other system down, trying to be nuts? aggressive to take nuts. towards the AT. Yeah. Make a hard case and impossible case. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now we are really yeah. talking about yeah. Yeah. Uh, more aggressive nice. approach. I think in this case, I would stay away from doing an 035 and getting into more trouble. I mean, you can already see, especially just trying with an 018 wire, see the amount of planes it's already command, generated. Command, yeah. command, it's hard to get back in. Yeah. Regular command. Uh, yeah, and I have, think yeah, that one of the it. questions that was on screen was uh, referred to the collaterals and are there important collaterals? And there were several important collaterals. And I think that's one thing about CTOs that people need to understand in terms of being overly cavalier is that, you know, right. it's true. You can't right, make right. a CTO 150% occluded, but you could <laughs> make a I like that, Georgie. Yeah. Although, although we know people who've tried. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a very, anyway, it's a very unique skill. It's a, it's a unique <laughs> skill to make it worse. But, you know, but I think the point here is like you see, now we're going to, now Karthik is going to get this cat, this wire up. Now we're going to go with an 018 trailblazer. Get us an 018 trailblazer, guys. Yeah, and we're going to have no problem going with an 018 wire from below. I might take a Connect 250 from above, but this is obviously may not be the. See, you can see it doesn't have enough support to go. I think this is a, not this enough. Is not support, enough right? support. Yeah, get us a, a V18, guys. So we're gonna go with the V18 just to get up and get the get, get our microcatheter in, and then we're gonna switch. And you know, you guys the gave a, the, a little bit of a cocktail here. We did, yeah, we, we did, did Ron. I was we just gonna say that we did our usual radial cocktail here. Patients on Angiomax, and uh, so we're just gonna go forward with the V18. And then we're going to put uh, our, uh, our um, what is it called, uh, 
uh, well, forward a trailblazer and then go with a better wire. Let me go down a few a little bit. Uh, V18, you got to watch it a little bit. It's probably going to go a lot higher. If, okay, that's good right there. Good. It'll keep going. Fantastic. It looks like you'll have careful, a lot of hibernating careful. vessel right there. So. Yeah, it's so nice when, seems to be moving when this a little, wire glides. Yeah. It seems to be moving beautiful. Uh, so and nice. we're going to take it straight up. <laughs> right. Like I said, like, like Georgie said, C-Top, you know, our good friends. Uh, uh, Jihad, let's do a roadmap here. Hold on. So Jihad and Fadi really have, have um, contributed a lot to our field. And uh, you can see here, this uh, this works really well. Again, they believe in going below the knee, and I, and looks like we're perfect. And they yeah, believe in putting a, a sheet in, and we, you know, and working from a pedal first. We don't believe in that. Uh, so there's a lot of differences. And now we're probably gonna hold on a second. Nope. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So this is and like a perfect example of how much hibernating yeah. vessel you can have and you underestimate the degree sometimes sorry, overestimated I'm, I'm, the degree i'm sorry karthik and i disagree it's all skill here there's no hibernation i apologize <laughs> for your thought that uh that, that thank we, you vishal for making it a hibernating that, that, vessel that you actually thought that we're george croissant here come on what's going on you got you guys we are love you guys. it's it's you know it's it's actually karthik no, man listen. he just wired it straight up i mean no, come no, on no, it's, no it's all good. jokes aside no you're right there is a lot of hibernation there's a lot of hibernating vessel yes <laughs> you know it went in very smoothly actually so I, now never, I never get it easy do i it doesn't matter what side of the table i am <laughs> <laughs> so so george um let's so right now we got the v18 up we've got a catheter from above right well, the idea would be for karthik to cross and meet me would be the ideal thing uh the idea so if that happens then uh then we could talk a little bit about therapeutic options uh in terms of what we do so while we work on crossing maybe you guys can talk a little bit about the wonderful information that our good friend uh, Ibrahim did. And uh, can you put up Ibrahim's slide on the question? Yeah. So give me a little roadmap. Oops, sorry. Can we can we put up Ibrahim's slide on the questions, guys? I thought that was really well thought out. Yep. Okay. So George, access point we talked about. Let's talk a little bit about wires, Georgie. So, so you said you said 018. Um, Vishal and Raman, what wire did you say? No, I'll do the same thing. Start with an 014, no. but quickly switch over to an 018 to give me more support. I think oven eight with a micro oh, catheter okay. on top of it should most of the time suffice and do its job. I mean, uh, that's what we might thought. How yeah. about you, Raman? I mean, V18, any Careful, CXI yeah. or yeah. Navicross oven eight system is, yeah, well, I, I would say 95% of the time that's my algorithm. Now remember, you got to be careful here because that turn here, guys, from below right. is not going to be easy. Yeah, exactly. You know, from like uh, I think in we'll that way, what Raman and Karthik were talking about going in the perineal will ensure that we cross, but mm -hmm. that turn is not going to be easy here. Is your so catheter we, up there already? Yeah, yeah, yeah catheter is there. I, I, I've, um, I have a lot of resistance on this. Yep. So we might have to balloon. But off, off, actually, what, what catheter off, is this? There's a trouble. What is that? Give him a, give him a, 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 a teleport, please. Give him a teleport. Uh, uh, teleport. You want to own it? Yeah, I own it. I we know, but now v you can v18. switch. You can you can probably switch from where you are. I don't know where I am. Let me see. I have to see where I am. Yeah, you could definitely switch. So get him. Uh, get him. Hold him. Hold it. Oh, uh, uh, Ibrahim. Hold get it him. Uh, yep. Pull That's the wire. Ibrahim. Yeah. Pull the wire. Yeah, pull the wire as he go tries to go up. Nope, not going. Okay, now you can switch with no, a different it's going, wire. It's going. It's going. Okay, good. Pull the wire. Okay, now give him an 0 and 4 wire. Illustrious shake and bake. from above, guys. Yeah, yeah. Shake and bake. Yeah. Shake and bake, baby. Let's go. It's 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 our favorite movie, George. Uh, Talladega Nights. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> I'm not joking, buddy. We You're love it. Wire, right? <laughs> we, we we have Talladega Night parties here. That's how nerdy we are in New York. As <laughs> long as your intervention doesn't turn out like Talladega. <laughs> <laughs> you know, George, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> no, I just said as long as it does, and I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in. I wish I was in. So. Um, yeah, so, you know, looking at these slides, I think, um, you know, we're sort of, we've kind of answered a lot of these. Um, I think that the, the thing about the collaterals is important. Oh. And then now, now in terms of uh, the therapy, you know, once you cross, that's going to be very interesting. And it's going to probably be mandated by whatever you see on intravascular ultrasound. Yeah, tell us about the use of ultrasound, yeah. George. Well, I think in, in these situations, it's Road very, very useful, not so much uh, because necessarily no you're fun. worried a lot about the plaque morphology here, because I think you've seen a lot of hibernating okay. vessel and, and it, there may not be a ton of calcium Some in terms track, of right? making a decision about calcium therapies. But I think it would be important to see the size mismatch, because I have a feeling that right. the popliteal mm. is significantly bigger. And so as it gets down into the TP trunk, okay. there, there's going to be some sizing issues. And then... 
and then just see exactly what the uh yeah, you what it looks like you know no, what no. What, all, what all exists from maybe previous attempts and, yeah, and just see just what yeah. everything is no, yeah, I think the biggest no, no, concern, I, I guess, all of us, <laughs> you're yeah. right, is like, the size you know, mismatch. Shove it in there you know, we it. don't, uh, most of the times we'll end up putting a scaffold, okay. which might be you're a right supera, there. but again, we don't want oh, to elongate a supera as it tapers before. down. Yeah. Yeah. And right. we know the patency <laughs> of a four or five supera is not the best, so nobody will go for a four or four or five supera. They'll obviously start to size it up higher. But the mismatch from the AT all the way to the public field becomes a big issue. So I don't know, Raman, how do you approach that thought process? I mean, I've... I think the, the the tapering size of this of this vessel, I think, is is one of the main issues. I think the possibility, the hope, is what I'm hoping for, is that when you you fully cross, you do your your pre dilatation, you'll see that maybe it's actually not like a four o vessel distally. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is closer to about a five, which I mean, it's not unrealistic. You know, we we do see that that once you, you, gain, you, you, you gain full access, that the vessels do kind of plump up a little bit. I think up front without crossing, my hope would be that destination therapy would be without a scaffold and I'll just be able to get away with the DCB. Um, and if it does seem uh, that is badly dissected, it would have to be with a supera. And I right. think I would really try to be a little bit more aggressive with the pre dilatation <laughs> and, and uh, making sure Real that guess. you really do maximize the actual um, the, the lumen. So go with a, yeah. probably with a 5 supera mm -hmm. and just, you know, really uh, pop get up us with a 6 DCB or a 6 uh, uh, teleport. Dorado, so. <laughs> Get us an 0 yeah, teleport, that's please. In, that's interesting because I think once you open it up, you know, there are there are Look 5 uh, corner DES as well. Correct. So you could get I part of this. Into a into a so, right. so, so, Georgie, yeah, let me let me push back. Yeah. Let me push back a little bit, right? Yeah. You have a primary patency of seventy percent. It put proper balloon angioplasty in Saval. Okay. Um, yeah. I know you. You have a, obviously the lesion lens are with balloon. You can you can tackle more lesion lens. Now walk this out first, guys. Yeah, I know. Support. I'm just uh, trying to uh, lock it in one. So area. you could have better lesion lens. Hold it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you can have better lesion lens, uh, longer lesion lens you can treat with a balloon than you have with DES. Okay. So to me, using what I call as this, go keep going, what I call as this Saval technique for, wait, wait, oh, hold on, Karthik, beautiful, yeah, yeah. hold on, wait, 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 you need support though. Yeah, I, I, I got around. through, so I took it. I agree, but I'm saying now get the support catheter up. Come on. <clears throat> you need a support catheter. See, it's buckling. Yeah, and now you're going to take this up or you're going to Yeah, no, no, no. It, it won't catheter, go, it won't go, it won't go. Okay. Won't go. So my question is for... <laughs> <clears throat> As I cough my lung out here, my question is, uh, we're touching right there, Karthik, so if I come there, you'll be able to cross. So can you please change out the support? Yeah, we are, we, are, we, are, we are changing. Uh, is, is why now, George, with 70% patency, with the balloon angioplasty okay, technique that was so well-defined, right? They left the balloon up for a good 10 minutes, right? They did all that work. Why Teleport. is it? Why, why mm -hmm. wouldn't we do a better balloon angioplasty and get 70% patency yeah, without, well, without, burning, without burning a bridge, right? You know, what I'm saying is we were talking about stent options, right? But I'll tell you, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that balloon angioplasty no. is going to solve this problem. I agree. So, so, so I, uh, I think some your, drug, your, treatment, drug your treatment plan technology. would be different for the pop and would be different for the, the tibials, right? Or yes. would you do, or would you do one, one balloon uh, with a possible stent of the osteal tibials? And how would you deal with the bifurcation? That's the question now. Yeah, so I think down at the uh, down at the bifurcation, um, I think that's where uh, some combination let of the wire go up. Like wire, coronary, yeah. coronary DES you can help you down there. Good. I think behind yeah. the knee, and what I'm getting cool. at is the patency rates, and this is probably more anecdotal than data driven, but the patency rates on five O supera are not fantastic. So right. if I don't wire, wire back, please a little. Five, Pull the wire back. And I would try to Pull maybe back Pull it back. Yeah, right. yeah. leave it there. Leave it there. I think behind the knee. I think oh, behind the like T2 cool. segment, I think you have to use something like a supera. I mean, but down below in the TP trunk area, depending on what the size mismatch is, I wire think back, we bro. have more coronary DES like, options. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, okay. Not that it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I agree That's with good. you. I mean, in this case, when there's so much multiple dissection planes, I don't know how much PTA is going to give me my luminal gain and for how long. It's th That's the real question. And after doing so much hard work, are you comfortable just doing a PTA, leaving it and hoping that is everything stays alive or the oh, patient comes careful. back in, let's say, three months with yeah, recurrence of signs and symptoms? Would you, Raman, be like, no, comfortable no, no, leaving it. it with just PTA, just even though the result might look good, yeah, just, and you so might just it layer it up with the DCB or DEB. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think, 
I would. I don't know. It, it's this is, is, is is a definitely is a tough tough question. Yeah, I mean, yeah. again, I've, I've I would I would hope best hold case scenario yeah, would be that I can no, no, I can letting. successfully and it. satisfactily it's end the case with just a drug coated balloon. I think I would I would feel uh, I would yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I'm mind not, if, if that's my my final okay, destination now, there because now, then we don't have to worry command, about these other you know very out. practical issues of what's going to happen with the recent rates with these smaller sizes of superas and then. You know uh, these these anecdotal um, usages of of uh, the Road coronary down. stents at this particular level, and then also if we are going to be talking about like uh, doing a, like a, a coronary stent, like Zions, is that stent going to go from the distal pop into the I AT the and then then cover your your? I mean, I guess you do have a little bit of a neck uh, right. at that uh, distal distal pop. I mean, so I mean, there's, there's there's a lot of considerations and technical challenges when it comes to as soon as you introduce the idea of a scaffold here. So I think, can I, but but can I tell you something though? I I think what I would do is balloon angioplasty the 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 AT down to the foot, leave the ostium alone, <coughs> use a drug coated balloon to to the bifurcation, but not involve the bifurcation and avoid bifurcating stents as at all cost. Yeah. No, in this case, yeah, definitely makes sense. Yeah. Because you can see the AT ostium itself looks good. The lesion is more technically, by definition, distal most segment of the popliteal segment. So yeah. if you can balloon right from that nub all the way back up, do your DCB like you said, and hopefully it need be, we could do a supera or a short DES there and then a okay. supera because the flexion okay. point is actually higher okay. up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the fracture rate with the so-called so DES, corny DES I'm talking about, no, is still less right because it's the channel. P3, the distal most segment of P3, if you're really concerned that the supera is going to elongate okay. and we're Very not going to be able to yeah. put the right size supera or a smaller size supera. Yeah. And, and just, yeah. just, so just, just, to, yeah. just to be clear, Save that. So just to be clear, we're talking about two, they're talking about two yeah, separate yeah, yeah. areas. Exactly, right. exactly, yeah, yeah. Roadmap. And the popliteals another. I mean, the AT yeah. unfortunately were limited by in our options. Correct. Together. Yeah, I, the, um, if, and and the AT, the AT in in isolation. Would yeah. anybody uh, plant up front stenting here? Mm -hmm. Up front I mean, stenting AT. No. Yeah, no, right? Yeah. No, I would not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Just only, only no, even though, even though I always tell, even though I always tell PK, I think the ideas trial was very yeah, interesting. Give me a confidence. Some of the confidence. Yeah, look. Absolutely the same. Uh, Patency rates weren't big. that bad. It's, it's, it's but I think for AT, issue. the uh, question actually, is, is what you're going to do in addition to, to angioplasty, because that's got its own controversy. But for right yeah, here, the behind the knee down to that bifurcation, well, yeah, well, I just don't like see PK known of any variety being, a, being an optimal uh, therapy. But, you know, then again, that's what intravascular ultrasound is for. I mean, just do it, see what it looks like. and. Mm. And make a decision. Um, you know, the other thing we haven't talked about is what's the goal here. I mean, is the goal to try to heal up and not be so worried about resinosis because you can bring them back and do something else down the road if you need to. But I tend to try to do whatever I think is best. <clears> right. Out, right. I'm not really on planning for three months from now to bring them back and do something else. So I would I, I would rather treat this now uh, to the best of my ability. Yeah, um, I think that's a good approach. It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see Ray, what this take looks my catheter like. Down. Okay. So Karthik is making good progress from above. That looks pretty good. Really right there, right? Let's see if Karthik, let, let me give him a little. So how do you think you feel the wire from below? Is it like, you can leave, oh, it, rail, there. Rail leave it there, leave it there. Yeah, leave, well, I'm just going to push this up a little. I think there's a confianza. Good. Yeah. Now, it'll, now it'll go. R roadmap from above, guys, for Karthik. One second. Uh -huh. Just so audience can see where we are. Good. That's enough. So PK, I've noticed that you and, Kar you and Karthik, I've seen the, the wire knuckle a couple times. Yeah. What is there, is there some hesitation <clears throat> having a small knuckle and just taking the well the knuckle so, no, the knuckle is big. quite big. Yeah, it was big, Georgie. That's the reason okay. I pulled back. I would pull back. Okay. Exactly. I just saw a small knuckle in the eight in the yeah, AT. Yeah, that's I didn't better. That's I think too. you should be able to get through it from below and above. That's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm trying to create dissection planes for Karthik from above, and then have him try to come up to find the plane from below. You know, I, like I said, this is one of those cases. It looks easier than it is, and it may be a knuckle case, like you said, to finally do it. But right now, it's definitely not, you know, working out the way we want it to. So, it, well, see, I see how big that plane is, George. They, yeah, they, yeah. they definitely tried something different here, believe me. And uh, I think this is really affecting us. Okay. Yeah, that looks like maybe a, a glide mm -hmm. got looped and shoved down there. Yeah, yeah. Got to wow. pull your pull your catheter yeah. out here and uh, pull uh, your wire back a little. Yeah. What wire so do you what, have from, from below right now? Uh, we have a confianza. Uh, can I have an astato? Astato, yeah. I think yeah. I would probably go for a little bit more weighted. 
And so you I'm have an O one four or an O one eight microcatheter from O one four. O one eight O one eight would not pull your catheter okay. wire back a little, Carthy. Yeah. Let's see whether it goes from above. O-1-8, Sometimes O-1-4, we're able to right? yep. pop it in. Who knows, right? Nope. I think you got to pull your wire back. Yeah, I did. Yeah, while you get the new wire. Can we get a uh, another view to see how how far off these these two are, how close they they are? Yeah. We are far mm-hmm. in. We are far off. But but at at some point do they get closer? They do up top, so we might have uh, to do a card or a reverse 20. card. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. We might have wanna... to balloon. We might have to balloon from the top, yeah. um, just to create our plane, so that we can enter into that plane. I'm gonna take a photo. Back. That's that's true. I mean. Yeah, we're because just I'm in a different a... plane. Uh, put a put a, a put a timer plane. on, guys, for okay. me. Okay, let's do a roadmap quick. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Inject. That's enough. Do enough to give the whole thing. That's good. Okay. So sometimes, George, as you know, you get these planes that are developed, and you could just slide through one of them, and are able to get in. You know. Mm-hmm. So I think above and below is a good idea here. Uh, I'm just ready. Take the catheter down now. That's good. That's a good plane. Take the catheter down, Ray, for him. A little bit more. No, there you go. No, no, the, okay. The now, now I'm going to pull the wire out. Now try, Karthik. See if it goes in there. So this is what the dissection plate. Now I'm going to try to push this one up, Karthik. Uh, I like the other area you were at. Yeah, I like, I like this one. So just right. stay there for me. Let me bring the your catheter up for you. Yeah, just pull the catheter as I push the wire. Yeah, pull the, keep pulling the catheter. Yeah, I like this plane better. Yeah, just yeah, but you you need to see the which, yeah, two I'm things. Right there. So everybody at home, the system has to be straight, right? If the system is not straight, there'll be redundancy. You're going to fail. So that's one of the basic disciplines you need. The second discipline is when 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 the, when the catheter starts to buckle, you know, as I'm pushing the wire from below, you want to go ahead and allow the 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 the, the, the everything to be transmitted forward. So that's the key. So so now now he's going to try to wire from here. It looks like he's a little closer. I think right. this is a good. Uh, he needs to I, I, he needs to go the other wire. No no I like that calcium no, right there. It's the calcium right there that's hurting Karthik. See right now we should be touching. Let me go to a different view here. Now see that buckling? That's the problem. That's what I'm I'm not happy with. There you go. Right there's that's better. It. Now let's see whether we let's go to another view like like uh, Raman okay, suggested. Let me, let me go forward a little bit. With the see wire. this is a good place. This is a good place for cart. This is a good place for cart. I think we should do cart here. Yeah. Let's uh, let me try from above a little. I think you still have the confianza. Are you change it to an astardo? Uh, no, I changed it to astardo. Yeah. Pull the wire. I, I, your wire back slightly, Karthik. No, I think I should go forward, and then yeah. you should do a little bit above. I think yeah, I'm just in pull a, your wire back slightly. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. You see, see, you're in a huge plane, so that's the problem. So. I mean, Karthik looks more coaxial. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah. He's in a huge plane. So yeah, so let's get a couple of balloons ready, guys. Let's get a balloon from above ready. No, no, three o, three o, three o balloon. All right, let me try from below, Karthik. All right, uh, get the catheter Flora. in that pocket. Please. Flora, please. Get the catheter in that pocket. Hold on, let's just pull back a little. I think you're right. The plane is actually playing against you now. Yes, wow. Well, you don't for, see the calcium balloon? move. I think I think they're going to want to over the wire. Balloon. That pocket was good, PK. That pocket is a very good pocket. The one yeah. which we were in. Yeah, right but now. just track the catheter now. Track the catheter. Uh huh. Keep coming. Keep coming. Uh huh. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Uh huh. That's, That's a good calcium. pocket. That's the calcium. That's the pocket. Yeah. Let me get yeah. the catheter in in that pocket, mm-hmm. and then Go. you can mm-hmm. you can wire it. Yeah. Now you can try. Yeah, it. you're in the pocket, but it's not going. Pull back a little now. Give us yeah. our stato. Uh, give us. This is a, this you is. You can a, make a little. There you that's, go. It, that's it. Now give me a little dive from above. Roadmap it. We're almost there. Have you ever tried the uh, Mongo? Oh, sorry. sorry. Actually, sorry, sorry guys. Once again, off. Oh, George, you know I've never tried the Mongo. I mean, Raman, have you? Uh, uh, manifold valve open. Off road map, I guess. Just give injection. Yeah, I mean, this is mostly for the epicardial surfing. Uh, <laughs> one of their the newer wires has been on the market for a few years. Basically, the tip. Uh, mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. It's it's a short uh, hydrophilic cool tip that can it. actually create a very small loop uh, with the rest of the wire with much more support. So you kind of avoid the uh, the dilemma of creating a very big loop with your dislant yeah. end of the wire. 
with a very good amount of, of support, a good which I mean, it, it's it's a it's an interesting uh, it's a it's an interesting use you to get your uh, wire for forward. the yeah definitely you, you know, know for the uh, the left to right uh, recanalization in the coronaries using like the septal collateral yeah we cross yeah, we, but I, think uh, we do. I don't think I've ever used it for for, for this yeah, guys, you use a lot of Mongo right Mongo do you... Yeah, I don't think we're. Yeah, I mean, I it's a good, no, 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 it's, no, no, it's a good wire for crossing no, no. all of these sorts of things. Yeah, it tends I to, that's to get across uh, all kinds of lesions, I, 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 and I agree. In. I like the okay, feature. Just wait a second. Of, it doesn't really ever give you too there. big, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. you can be reasonably aggressive with it. So that we can get in. So I think that cross it, it looks like. Wire. So Georgie, we crossed and we're not able to get anything. Well, he's going further up now slowly. So now, okay, once we cross, the give me the ten. Pull the, pull the wire. Snare it. There you go. Car Karthik is doing it now. Fantastic. Okay, Good to have that. strong guys, man. Um, you know, that's command. why change we have Roman working out, George, every day. Change it to Ro <laughs> Roman's our our resident bouncer. <laughs> change it to command. Change it to command. Change, you go ahead. Let's. Uh, so so what we're gonna do, guys? Now that we crossed, let's get an Ivis ready. We've got 15 minutes to do this case. So. Now that we cross, I'm just going to pull my, I'm going to have Karthik just wire into this. I'm just going to pull this back and just have Karthik just wire into this if he can. Or, or else we'll have to do that technique of, uh, uh, you know, wiring the, um, the, the 035 catheter, I mean, oh, the 4 French catheter. And then we'll go. So, again, uh, it shows the different wires that we tried uh, to be able to get through. And then, now let's see, there is. the Karthik is going to have to pull it back and just pop it in. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay. If not, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll get ready to change out for the 035 uh, uh, catheter. So, Georgie, so Ivis, what are you looking to learn from Ivis? How is that going to change your decision on what you're doing? I think here I just want to see how much disruption there is, and then I want to see the size mismatch because the popliteal down to the bifurcation is not all the same size, obviously, and then try to figure out, you know, lengths and diameters and that sort of thing. Do, are you concerned? Are you looking for calcium in terms of what you're going to use uh, as your primary device or no? No, I don't, I don't think there's a, I mean, just looking at what I can see here, I don't know that calcium is a huge problem here, but I do think that uh, with multiple attempts and with the Let difficulty you guys have had, I would want to know exactly the morphology as well as the uh, size. Uh, I think there's just going to be a, a big size mismatch. You yeah. know, and the one thing we didn't talk about, and it's not obvious on this film, but I think, you know, anytime you have someone who has unilateral or like bilateral popliteal occlusions, I think this is where sometimes well, it's uh, it doesn't behave like we didn't make sure No, you're in. You're definitely in. As a because no. then it's a whole different... See, that's the reason you're getting yeah, stuck there. I, I think I you're absolutely right. You're I mean, calcium is not the limiting See? factor here. It's just mainly the sizing you need, and the etiology. You need to come around. And you're right. Well, how much far are you from the lumen? How much subintimal, medial, yeah, even subadventitial you are? But also yeah, determine your, like your treatment strategy. If you're way off the lumen, then I would probably be more aggressive putting a scaffold in. If you're just close right, to the medial, then probably PK will give you a good result like PK was talking about. So I think... Uh, you're absolutely right. We're Sizing will be a big uh, yeah. predictor in there this case go. of a good outcome. So uh, we'll do that. All right. So we okay. have now to try to wire. I think for the AT, it's also going to be important because if you if you notice that the AT you shot straight through the center of the lumen. Actually, let me know, try now from above. Uh, I think it should go right in. Atherectomy and PTA uh, being superior just to PTA alone. So, right. of course, you'd have to do that. You'd have to consider maybe doing that from the from that pedal access, which, you know, with okay, this much try difficulty, from, try from, I have yeah. very little uh, hesitation to just do the whole further, thing so. the pedal at this point. So what's okay. your uh, strategy now? Are you going to go snare it or? Well, we're just going to try to wire, wire We're right just going to try to wire it if you okay. can. Uh, if not, we'll just get a, get a snare, I guess. So probably gonna then you're going to take an yeah, I have no torque ability from below. All right, give me, a, give me a command from above. Let me try from above. <laughs> You know, if, if you actually bring your teleport right to where that 99% that lesion is. Yeah, we did. We did. we did that. We did that. I think it's your lean was still... Oh, oh you're in. Right, you're right, in. Right, right, right now. He's in, I think. Oh. Oh. Your catheter. Oh. There you go. There's a catheter. <laughs> Look at that. I oh. thought we are in. I was getting all happy there. So I think somewhere. you can just probably put an 035 catheter from the top. We'll give you a little bit more. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Space rather than finding the smallest. Yeah, one. I agree. So PK, so PK, a 5.6 slender in your tibial access would let you do probably the whole thing. I know you don't like to do that, but You're right. I mean, 
you can. I mean, I mean, Jordan, you, what what is the advantage? I mean, that's my point, right? All right, Ray, give me a. a, the a is together. that you've already gone through all of this trouble crossing, and now you're going to try to snare and externalize and go back down. I mean, you could just do the whole thing from the. Yeah, but CLI. I mean, putting that sheet in a in a patient with CLI, you know how that is, George. I mean, to me, I just not crazy about that. I'd much rather let let Karthik, uh, you know, struggle a little bit and have fun with this than uh, than. <laughs> it's than, in a one four, and, right? And, and so believe me, George, you don't know what happens. Them. You mean Raman and Vishal are brutal. After this, they'll be making fun of Karthik for a week. They'll be like, <laughs> "Oh, I would have wired that in two seconds, you yeah. know." So you know, yeah. I got to give these youngsters some little fun, George. That's you because know? Raman and Vishal we used a Gladius O one eight. Listen. Car thing, I, I gotta tell you, I, we're definitely gonna get that wire in to check it out. Uh, you know, it's something honestly it's I've never fine. used. I've never used it. So anyway, so I'm gonna put this down for Karthik to wire, and then once he wires it, we're gonna do this. So let's get the Ivis is set, guys. Okay. So this is just gonna go down, and then uh, I'm gonna we're gonna wire from above, externalize the wire, and then take it from there. Whoa, whoa. It's all right. Okay, it's good. Go move. take it down. So Ray's gonna just push it down. Yeah. All right. Let's go wire it from above below and then we'll be, oh, there you go. Good. Okay. Now pull the other wire back. Excellent. All right, Karthik, let me just put it up against the wall there for you. Uh -huh. Awesome. So we have now in word tip catheter, I guess, from top. Yep. So hopefully uh, we should be able to try to, uh, there almost. you go. Almost. Uh, almost. All right. Get a snare ready guys. So we can show everybody how to use a snare as well. You should be able to do it, Karthik. Yeah, he will. I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's not talking at all. I don't have any time. All right, get it. There, there it is. Okay. Let me let me bring the wire the catheter you, you down. Like yeah, maybe get it down a little bit. Rave, keep pushing it down. Yeah. Uh huh. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Three. All right, now try. Mean. Okay. You're at the calcium, so there it is. Five then. You're at that second chunk. We don't have a three O. We got a five O. Well, if you just bring that O three five catheter down to your teleport. There it is. Oh. You bring the O three five catheter all the way down to the teleport. And just kind of make. No, no, there's calcium there. It's not allowing. Yeah. I don't know any talk about able to. All right, go with a uh, go with a uh, another way there. Hold on. Here oh, we go. Here comes the I think teleport. One twenty should be enough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now let's now, now try. A little mouth, right mouth action. Let's try to just wire the teleport. Hold on, Carthy. One second. <laughs> move the, you, your your catheter is uh, changing or no? I'm just trying to move the. This he's is like to swallow the micro catheter the, down. The teleport, yeah. That's yeah. what he's trying to do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's not. I can't. Talk all right. Let all. me try for a little bit. This way they can make fun they of me talk. too. That's fine. They, um, they can try. <laughs> and then have have any talking we have a five O snare ready, guys. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right, get get me a, a backup. Pull pull back your catheter a little bit, brother. Uh huh. The ball. Yeah. Okay. Tell me tell me above now. You want me to talk it that way? Yeah, catheter. that's fine. Talk it to the other side. All right, get the snare ready. I don't want to waste time. We we have to go. There we go. We're hitting it. Interesting. All right. Yeah. All right. Get us a a. Uh, go go for it. Now. Try try now. Yeah, against the wall. Uh... Okay, so we'll do it up top. We'll snare from closer. Right. Let me cut dot the catheter once. Okay, so I think it's gonna good. fall off. Yep, we we'll get the snare ready, guys. We'll just do the micro snare. All right, we we'll get put the snare through the other thing. The catheter for the snare we have is 120, but we could do it up yeah, top, yep. and then mm -hmm. we'll be okay. Pull back the catheter right to that spot. All right, give me a better two wire than this. Get give me four. something I can, uh, I Talk, can actually uh, torque it. At least fielder, probably. You wanna, a fielder. You run yeah. through it's or, like no talking ability at all. Run through a fielder? Maybe a run through or a fielder. Yeah, I agree. Try now, try now. Okay. Wow. No. Run through or a fielder. Yeah, I think I'll all probably right. go with a fielder here. It's going to have yeah. more, more torque ability at this point. I think the, the other problem is that you're going through two lengthy CTO legions. You're crossing catheters are all <laughs> one four system. It's, I'm it's telling you, George, George, is, George, is, George is licking his chops. He's going to be texting me later. You should have done what I told you. <laughs> put put the four or five slender. You'll be done by now. That's that's right, but I'm not going to do that. 
<laughs> You're just going to say it live about five more times. <laughs> no, I, that's, I, that's enough. I, you don't need to pull no, the ball no. back a little bit. My, case, I, my cases are coming up tomorrow and Friday. I don't want to do anything that jinx myself by being uh-huh. overly critical. So I, I think this is wonderful. Yeah, no. But wiring the catheter, you know, wiring the catheter, you know, part of the problem too is that this SFA is well, like a six O vessel, so there's a little right. bit of, uh, you know, it, it's going to be hard to match that up. It is, but usually you can put it up against the wall, which is what we try to do. But it looks yeah. like the, maybe we need a JR four here, or, or, an, or an IM catheter to really just... or a snare. Yeah, I think a snare is. will be the best. Thing. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I think there it a, is. Yeah, there it's 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 all right, good. Yeah. Let's save that. Swallow the. All right, whole it took us uh, a, 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 longer to do that than to cross the lesion. No, I'm joking. Okay, <laughs> so, to so we're just gonna. The that's true. No, uh, uh, you can't, but I don't want to. The... No, I'll go right to the level of the distal pop and well, see. Well, why don't we just externalize go. it and we'll do it? So let's externalize it's it. It's going very smoothly. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm saying well, once we get it here, it'll be easier for us, right? I don't want to. I don't want to traumatize the osteal tibial. So while we push this. So, PK, uh, so now you see, George, it's out now. Now we're just going to pull this yeah. out. And, and Karthik is just going to pull this through and through. And then now we're going to just go ahead while, while you do this. Uh, Karthik is just going to, you, you keep feeding it as Karthik pulls. Uh-huh. So the nice thing, George, is that we're obviously up in the SFA. All right, I got no more wire. So, it so right because there. of that, we're not going to have any shearing that we normally would do. So... I think they should be fine. We now let's do a quick. The... You want to do an IVUS? You want a balloon first? I would probably put a, a catheter first and change it out. And change it out. All That's right. Good. That's good. Let's leave reverse it, it now. You have an overnight trailblazer? Check the... Yeah. So you're so you're gonna no, reverse do the trailblazer with the oh, trailblazer, trailblazer up in the SFA. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we're just gonna reverse it, put a catheter down, and get this wire off to out of the foot. So there's no more yeah. trauma to the foot vessel, and then we're gonna work from above. So as soon okay. as we do that, we're gonna do a quick IVUS. Um, and then, and then we'll do, once we do the quick IVUS, so what I've done is I've put a forcep down in the foot so we don't by mistake pull it out. Um, and, um, yeah. and now we'll do a quick IVUS. So Karthik is feeding it. Uh, it's quite difficult as you can imagine. Uh, but, or Ray, Ray or uh, let's see, cut the wire. You, you need to cut the wire yeah. a little? Cut the tip yeah. of it, yeah. No, he's got it. Well, I think because of the fielder tip, you have to cut the wire. But sometimes what happens is if you keep the wire externalized, it gives you so much good traction, yeah. especially if it's a lot of calcification, <clears throat> pushing the balloon and devices, especially if you have control now from both ends, you can actually manipulate your devices much better for that way. I mean, yeah. especially in very calcified. This is not but that But I think calcified. this is going to be okay. Yeah, I'll exactly. Call. This is not that calcified. It should work. Yeah. But that's one of the there. tips yeah. and tricks you could do, no, especially if you have wires here. externalized okay. from both you ends. Okay. Just uh, forcep uh, from the distal end, and then use clip whatever anyways. you can. I don't know if you right. recall, but one of the, uh, the the fellow presentations from the uh, the Endovascular Summit this last year was a fellow who had um, accidentally wired out of the toe that they were trying to revascularize. Yeah. Okay, I got and it. And did this exact same technique. Take the forceps, right. put it down, and now you have essentially an, an infinite amount of, of support. You Correct. can push anything mm-hmm. through. Um, you get all the way down? And Not what we're aiming to do here. <laughs> but yeah, I know. I get it. A similar concept. Are we done? I think so I now, guess the biggest factor can... was the multiple dissection planes we had. That made us the That made it very difficult. And we knew yeah, that was going to be a difficult. limiting factor, yeah. We'll we knew that was going to be difficult. So you can see it's going really up. easy now. And we're going to take wait, it all wait, the way wait. down to the foot. And then we're going to reverse the wire and lose access from the foot. Keep coming. Yeah. So now so we're going to... Yes, sir. What are you going to do with the what are you going to do with the AT just straight PTA or are you going to uh... I'm, I may that's what we're going to do a quick IVUS now Georgie and then we're going to yeah. go but it's yep we're going to do a quick IVUS that's good guys we're good now we're in the open yeah. area a little lower maybe a little bit lower a little bit right lower right the mid ankle uh-huh a little lower right there that's probably good. okay good. now lose the wire from uh, pull it from below pull it actually I'll pull it from above okay wait mm-hmm. a second PK uh-huh. probably pull. pull it from below is better yeah pull it from no. below. below you have yeah. more support mm-hmm yeah. Very good. Uh huh. I just hate to share it. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll but, uh, try to put it you have, you have a lot of support yeah, you, with you. the catheter, so it's yeah, we easy. got the catheter way down, but yeah, it's way still... down, so it's yeah. easy. All right, now let's get a let's get a command extra stiff from below above. I have a Spartacor. Spartacor okay. is fine. Spartacor is fine, and let's do a quick uh, Ivis. 
Can we just uh, uh can we can we show the actual axis uh, of the foot right the right now just to see so, so people can see what this looks like immediately after removing the externalized wire? What do you mean? You, there's no bleeding. Is it even bleeding? Yeah. No, that, no, that's, no. That's, it's not bleeding. There's no yeah. bleeding right now. Yeah. No, there's no I mean, bleeding. I, I think it's important for people to realize that 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 it's. All right, let's go. It's let's... not as if. Once you relieve yourself of your access, you're going to be just bleeding profusely. I mean, I sometimes you do, but I mean, in this case, with such a long disease vessel, you're now even more also, it is a CTO all the way through CTOs. there. So it's yeah. you know sometimes the the degree of difficulty of the actual lesion itself is kind of allows you to you know have hemostasis Absolutely. even earlier. Yeah, no, definitely. <clears throat> so we're gonna put we're gonna put the spartacore down. Walk this out. We have the ivis ready to go. Uh huh. That's the spartacore. The needle and stuff to come out. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, you can walk it out now. That's good. It's not going, brother? No, it's going. That's it. That's fine, though. Don't go yeah. further. That's no, no, fine. I'm not going further. Yeah, I just don't want to dissect anything. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Access just walk it out. I'm going to toss then... some of this. And we use the spartacore, Georgie, because it's a safer yeah, wire. And uh, yeah, let me walk it out. Yeah. You got, got it. it. It's a safer wire, and then we'll do a quick IVIS. And then we'll decide. George, when do you atherectomize? Tell me your algorithm for atherectomy. Of, yeah, let me just work it out so it's faster. Yeah. So when do you atherectomize the, 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 the distal plane? I mean, uh, the, uh, the popliteal and so on and so forth. When do you choose to atherectomize? Well, I think I if you're going to attempt anything like DART, I think you're going to have to try to atherectomize and then see what your PTA and DCB can do for you. Uh, the tibial vessel is the more interesting one because uh, I had this discussion with Fadi. And, uh, you know, there is data that if you if you atherectomize and then do the long PTA inflation in the tibials, it's better than PTA <laughs> at home, even though it gives you a little bit of heartburn sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. in these sort of cases about the possibility of embolizing. Uh, yeah. okay. uh -huh. But again, I think that's the other reason to Easy Ibis. To to go. Yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if you're taking on any of these sorts of therapies or making these decisions, you're making them based on sound judgment. Uh, all, right, here, all right, here comes Ivis, Georgie. Be very surprised. What's that? Yeah. Here comes the Ivis. So we'll go okay. live on the Ivis, guys. You're live. We're live. We can see it. That's the SFA. We know we're going to have to do some things offline, like the distal SFA. Okay, good. Slow down. Oh, you want to go distal? Go distal. Yeah, and put it back. Yep, little this is the occluded segment. There you go. Nice. All right, good. So this is your uh, your DP. Uh, AT, AT. <laughs> your AT, excuse me. Flo okay. uh, turn Ivis on, guys. Pull back. How far are you right now? In, in no, no, you're I'm not in recording. The, I'm in the mid-80. Okay. You're not recording. Okay, okay recording now. Pull back. No, me. no, he's not recording. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, he's recording. Now you're recording. No, he's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now he is. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> See, one of the things I, can't, I don't like, guys, we're just pull the Ivis back. Yeah. We got to really look at it. So go slow and we're really try to awesome. analyze what's going on. So, so far, the AT... Has uh, no plaque. That's it. He, he, has, he has a plaque TP. around the distal distal pop, pop. the bifurcation. Kind of, there's your plaque. Mm -hmm. So you figure that's mm -hmm. pretty much intraluminal looks. Now yeah. a little dissected, dissected there. Got a plaque. Right? Luminal you there. See how big that is? That, yeah. that's yeah. Big. It's about a five and a half, six almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Big. Yeah. But we're completely in the dissection plane. But in, we're in the center of the lumen. So now we're in the center of the lumen. Yeah. Now this is the distal SFA yeah. now, correct? Yeah. yeah. And that's the calcium Eccentric right there. Eccentric calcium right there. Eccentric calcium. So would you shockwave this rather than uh, yeah, rather than do a, do a do uh, a this thing? Balloon it first and we can it. we can well the Ivis went so I call it Ivis atherectomy right so the Ivis went so I think the shockwave should go so we can put stop a five hole or stop, we just do stop atherectomy. the Ivis stop the recording it stopped it stopped so what do you guys you what know, did you guys learn from the Ivis and what would you do? I think I you're in enough of the section plane to where I'm not going to be a huge fan of uh, atherectomy. So maybe agreed. Maybe shockwave is a better option here, yeah. even though you don't have. Well, you have calcium up top, plane. George. You have calcium yeah, no, up I top. Knew. Exactly. So, so exactly. you use but the it's not circumferential. Go to the beginning of the Ivis. Correct. Two, two, five, three, oh, two, ten, um, a balloon, please, or or give me a two, five, long Abbott balloon, one or the other. I would. I, I would. I th um, George, I would probably atherectomize the AT after we are done yeah. with the pop and everything because there's a lot of plaque in the AT because we, we're not going to do a DES in so the you AT. So know, you know what, guys? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do a small atherectomy cut in the pop? I know it's not going to make a difference since we're going to use it for the other one as well. Give me an EXL first. We'll do an EXL of the AT George, followed by a balloon. Okay. But, you know, I think I would I would laser the AT. Just, why, what, just tell me, tell me why laser versus directional atherectomy. 
Well, because the AT doesn't have a lot of calcium. The AT's just got some bulky plaque that I think um, would benefit from uh, just getting debulked and then balloon it. Now, the popliteal is a different story altogether. But, but George, at least you have data with directional atherectomy below the knee, right? You got a, what, what is a 70, whatever, 78% primary patency mm -hmm. of the tibial vessels and definitive LEI. I mean, it's good data while they set up the shockwave. It's reasonable data. With laser, I mean, Excite is not giving us data below the knee. You've got some other, you know, kind of registries that aren't really adjudicated with laser. I know, I know a lot of people are huge fans of laser, but, but if you start looking at the data that's available, you know, I definitely think that we should not okay. do laser. But PK, that's Come a on, guys, long, quick, please. That's a long, that's a long directional run down that AT. That's I don't know how many. So let me ask you this: Would any of you, any of you, run with a with a hawk? But oh, any I'm of you opt for atherotomy, straight up cutting balloon, because or, you know. Uh, can, again, can we just just are we we're talking about strictly the tibial vessel here? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, guys, there's no data with anything other than directional atherectomy in the tibials. So, so my, so my perspective yeah, PK, is there's no data. There's no data for this case. That no, no, <laughs> no. But, but if you, if you want to break it up in isolated segment, right. Yes. If you want to say, okay, listen, I'm treating the tibials. What's the best available data that I have to deal with? Well, you do have some directional atherectomy that we're extrapolating. I agree. But at least when we extrapolate, let's extrapolate with some evidence that we have and, and, and right. not be so anecdotal, you know, and I think that's but the worry I, I have. I think, but I don't think you can extrapolate directional atherectomy in the popliteal to this AT. The popliteal has calcium. You can see where some eccentric we'll type of atherectomy yeah. yep. followed by balloon angioplasty and DCB would work. The AT is a is a data free zone. I mean, the right. AT you just crossed is a data free zone. So I no, think then going. that's when you just got to okay. make not your good. judgment according it. to the risk of embolization and all of the potential the downsides no, just that could you know, nope. that could follow. Nope. Yep, this is not going to work. So this is not even passing. So give us a give us a four give us a a, a four o balloon for the popliteal four o eighty. Balloon. Use the same shockwave. No, the shockwave won't cross. Yeah, shockwave, shockwave is, won't is cross. not going to go. I mean, the All one right, thing which, I mean, which, which I think the, the IBIS did, did give us was a little bit more uh, yeah, you know, peace of mind. That's fine. The, the size of the distal pop. Correct. You know, Absolutely. So all these conversations we had about, you know, worrying about small scaffolds, you know, that's, that's two all five, out two the window. Five. Two five. Give me a photo. Yeah. Damien, where's the 4 -0? I think that's where the IBIS works great is just to yeah. get an idea of how aggressive we can be and how aggressive we should be, I guess, in sizing because we obviously tend to undersize most whoa, of the whoa. times. And this, what balloon is this, guys? We know that uh, even for DCB data, <laughs> undersizing is what causes the increased restenosis. 408, so, that's it. Uh, we just want to make okay. sure okay. we yeah, size it appropriately. Oh, that's why. So, all right. All right. So I guess uh, next uh -huh. it would be like on shockwave on the table, I guess. Yeah, shockwave's on the table, but now we're going with the balloon distal. Make a little bit of room. Make a little bit of room. And then we'll we'll deal with this first. A little more. Stop. Let's start from there. All right, quick DSA, guys. Ready? Or let's uh, DSA. I don't think so. Yeah, let's you just make DSA? sure that I don't want to go into the tibial. It's a four. It should be fine. A little bit further you can yeah. go. Okay. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. Go up now. Go for it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go up with a four o. There you go. Matt four. Five six. What's eight, nominal, eight, Dame? Five six. Eight. 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 I think well, we're definitely going to have to do the shockwave to that dislike yeah. SFA anyway. No. We see that there, we, there is some oh. some you know, some eccentric, Go some concentric here. calcium of this, this CTO segment. So I agree with with the IBL. I, 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 I think the the atherectomy portion of all this no, in no. this particular no. segment. Go for it. Is, more. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, it's more of a dealer's choice, I think. Right. Um, um, just... But I think if you are going to say that you're going to use Down. atherectomy for Walk your, your AT, then you can make the argument that perhaps maybe kill two birds with one stone, use DSA. the same atherectomy device for for both of them. DSA. How much of a difference an EXL is going to make at, at this you know this size of True. a of a vessel? I think is you know it's arguable. Okay. Nice. Very good. Oh, another AT. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we haven't awesome. balloon the AT yet. We, we have balloon the AT yet. Yeah. We haven't cut the AT yet. A little uh, flap there now, right? Yeah. Might be. No. Uh, Might be. We'll deal we'll with it. Give it up with I, guess, I mean, directional Except atherectomy? for that eccentric calcification, <coughs> someone would argue and say, why don't we just straight up do a DCB right there? 
and then see how it looks. I mean, yep. debulking from atherectomy mainly is for calcification. Plaque, of course, we can do it, but I don't think it'll be anything wrong just to put a straight up uh, DEB and uh, see how the, things look. I mean, it expanded well with the 4 balloon with yeah. good inflow. Yeah, but it's so interesting, isn't it? Like how many different opinions we have, the three yeah, of us, the four of us, five of us. Even with an many... IVAS finding, yeah. yeah. Even with an IVAS finding. it's What opinions you have, that means there is yeah. a lot of research. It's out of curiosity. Is the, your access in your tibial bleeding now or no? Not yet. No. Start. No, I, why? I think it, it's probably yeah, sealed yeah, already exactly. because it's just an overnight uh, uh -huh. access point, right? Yep. It's go, probably go, go, sealed go, go, already. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's a very good point Ravan brings nope, up. Is you have to be cognizant of the fact that the blood nope. flow does start to nope, move. Nope, nope. Yeah. 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 And we forget about right holding a light pressure, thinking it's never oh, yeah. going to bleed. No, no, but no, we should always keep an eye on the distal entry spot. Okay, we'll just balloon it. Give us a two. You can see the direct attractive is not crossing into the AT. So we're going to go ahead and do a 205, 210. Balloon. 205210, guys. I think it's just that proximal of the AT where the end balloon is, is giving us, and the, of course, the angulation right. itself. Yeah, right yeah. at the is giving uh, us the Waiting trouble. No, they have it. Long right where we had the difficulty with the balloon. Five. I don't have it. We, we have, have, have the table balloon. We have it. Just a regular yeah. 25. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. 25 is okay. Yeah. just have to create a channel. 25200. Right where the overnight had difficulty going up, that's where we... I, th I think it's a combination of the angulation as well, plus not able to... We didn't get balloon technically, the proximal most part of the AT as well. So both are limiting factors in getting your atherectomy device down. Yeah. So well, I, like... think it, I, I think it's worth trying to do it, dotter it and do it. But I mean, I, I really do. I, I really think it's worth it to try to dotter it. And if it goes, it goes. And now we just make a quick little shift, come with the balloon. How long is this balloon? It's 210. No, it's not. It's 200. You show me down. Can we down, please? Okay. Okay. Just keep keep bringing the balloon down. Stop it. Uh huh. That's good. No, okay. Okay. Let's go up. We're gonna have to wire this. Yeah. We will. Wait, wait. Where is your top yeah, of the that's balloon? That's what I'm trying to see. That balloon. It's all the way down. there. Yeah. You don't want to go it's there. A long, long balloon. All right. Hold on a second. Let's just wire this. Give me a second. Please. That's a, this, no. It's not a good wire. Give me a. Give me a. Give me a. Uh, uh, Let me a get the balloon down. Guys. Let hold me get on. the balloon down. Give me a run through. 300 run through. The balloon yeah, let's get the run through. Run through wire. So I know you haven't had time to, to go back and look at the IVAS, but you have a feel for the transition, you know, in yeah. terms of size from what looked like probably a five and a half at the start to closer to the, the takeoff the, of the AT. I think you need to in terms of trying to figure out what your final strategy is going to be. Smoothly go in. I think, I think the idea would be to try to to, um, um, I mean, George, at this stage here, the answer would be, are you gonna, are you gonna stent uh, the, the popliteal or are you not? I personally, I don't wanna stent the popliteal. I think as good, as good as these stents are, they're not the best, uh, you know, including Supera. I think it's a great stent, but it's not another spark gonna be core. something that I can just, you know, uh, hang my hat on. So, so, so to me, if I can get away with a nice DCB with a good runoff, I'm gonna try oh, to leave it. Here, uh -huh. it's, really it's not going? Very, very tight. It's very tight. Okay, so give us a. Here. I would balloon it. Let's here. give it's us okay. a uh, in deflator, guys. Yeah, we have it right yeah attach then here. So we're going to attach this and then we're going to go. go for it. And uh, we're just going to go up with the balloon here just to make a channel for us to go down. And you can see how tight it is. Uh, hold on. As you can see, there's a lot of dilution of dye. Go for it. There it is. Okay, now we're up with the balloon. Okay. Still not expanding. So very, very tight AT. Mm. And I'm at I'm no. probably at 10 atmospheres here. Okay, now I'll try to take it down a little bit. So atherotomy would not have crossed. Neither would uh prop if a two five balloon does not Abbott balloon, that's fine. Let's go up here. We're just gonna you know, take the tension Careful. off the wire, please. I did, I did. Pull pull no, the balloon, balloon back, balloon. please. Thank you. So again, that's another discipline you guys want. You got to remove the, the the tension off the the balloon as you go up, because you could obviously perforate with uh, with a lot of uh, tension on the Don't. wire. Don't. So now the lesion opened again. Now we're going to continue serially ballooning, and then we're going to leave a prolonged balloon as it goes up. Uh huh. Let's go up here as well. Yep. That's your tightest uh -huh. spot. One second. Keep going. Yep. There it goes. Okay. Okay. It. okay. Go. Tension off the balloon, yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then. So George, you can see this is a very diseased vessel, mm. and you know it's yeah. worthy. It's worthy of a live case. I mean, very diseased. Don't. You know, so we're gonna keep going down. 
I want to get to the top of that uh, ankle if I can. And get can a little hold the wire picker? Oh, where are you? Okay, yeah. I got the wire now. Go. Check the distal wire. Oh, okay. Go, go. Uh -huh. Can you go down? Yep, you just keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Go, keep coming now. Keep coming, keep coming. Let's balloon there. Up, going. Yeah, it's still Okay, going. let's go now. Go. I'm going to go up. One second. Uh -huh. take it go, go for it. Yeah, let's go up a little here. Make some room. So no way direction I thought we would have crossed. Yep. No way. Two five balloon is not crossing. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think that proximal CTO and the up and over is probably giving you all the resistance. So tight there. Just a lesion too, exactly. It's tough, especially bigger, longer balloons. It just becomes harder to transmit your. Okay, okay that's good right there. Okay. Off tension, off the balloon. Yeah, please. I did, I did. And that's your tightest part. It's tight. Very, very mm -hmm. tight. All right, good. Oh, yeah, he feels it, so. Yeah, he feels mm -hmm. it. A mm. little bit down. Good, that's it, no more than that. Okay, now I'm just going to leave this up. Yeah, super tight, look at that. What's the nominal? I'm at 12, okay, good. Just going to leave it up for a little bit. Okay, so breathe it out. There's no way device would have right. crossed it. So now you're going to try to attempt to recross your device? I probably. Let, let's take a look and see how okay. it is. Walk it back, Karthik. Let's do a DSA. Yeah, I think we should mm -hmm. take some pictures to really... I'll go very high here. Let's go, just walk it out now. We already did that. I did to 20 here. Walk it out. Mm-hmm. I got it. You can take this off. Okay, good. Stay there in case you're perf. All okay, right. So, so Georgia, we got a good flow here. I'm happy with this. Now yeah. the question the question is just going to be the pop. And then why don't we do one therapy and then we'll 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 continue recording. We'll sign off, let you get back to work. Um and uh this way we'll do everything later on. But we we covered the majority of the case. So now George over here, would you re Ivis? Would you just go with a shockwave or would you just do what Vishal said, DCB? Or would you just stent it? Uh, I would probably err on the size of a shockwave and then a DCB. Okay, let's get a shockwave ready, guys. We'll do a 6 yeah, shockwave. I, I agree with George. Roman, what do you think? Concur. So, George, if you can hang out for five more minutes, we'll do the shockwave in both areas, take let's a picture, go. Go. and then we'll do the DCB. DK, you know I can do whatever I want. That's the <laughs> <of it>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, man, I know I know you got a lot of patience to see. I want to be respectful of your time. You know that. Jeez. Two hours I, I want to be. I got 45 minutes until they show up. So oh, good, good, good. Then we're good. Then, uh, then we'd love for you to stay. You helped, you helped me miss an administrative meeting this morning. So I'm oh, I like that. That I like. <laughs> that like Joy like. has a good excuse. I'm not showing up. He's like, "What's your excuse today? I had a meeting." Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, he's like, "I was sleeping. I was playing golf in the morning. I couldn't attend. Today's a genuine reason." <laughs> the golf is definitely an important reason. I agree. Hmm. There you go. But unfortunately, George is not a golfer, I don't think. He's a skier. Yeah, I mean, unless you call tearing up uh, golf courses golfing, yes. I mean, I can do that. <laughs> I got it, brother. So now you have the shock wave going up. What size I'm gonna shock wave? It? It's a 6-0, so we're going a little bit further down, yeah. I don't think it's Because like George said, it's quite big. Mm -hmm. uh, the vessel is quite big by Ivis. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Well, I, th I think I would try to get as close to that that calcium uh, yeah. Still, uh, roadmap pop as possible. Try to stay away from that AT osteum, but given by uh -huh. how this how that post PTA angiogram looked like, I think you're unfortunately committed to some intervention of that osteal AT because mm. you see like a, a little bit further down little flap there. But who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Right. Yeah. A little bit further I think down, it's guys. more a flow pattern than a flap. So I will do an IVIS yeah. offline, Roman, and we'll make sure. Uh, come come down a little so, bit. Roman, you're talking Pardon? about the distal SSA needing some shockwave too. Oh, yeah, 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 we're yeah, gonna yeah. do both. All that. Come down, yeah. guys. You, you want more down? The yeah. whole segment from a little the, bit more before the bifurcation. A little bit more. A little yeah. bit more. A little bit more. Why, yep, why, I like why. that. Let's go. So we're gonna go with the shockwave for this go and for the distal SSA. This is a six zero. Should I go a little low? Yep. 
<clears throat> go to four or two atmospheres, whatever it is. Uh-huh. Okay, go. All right, very so it looks good. like the cameraman is trying to show us that the foot is not bleeding. Off roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure Raman's yeah. point is like, <laughs> Laura? Thank you for uh, keeping us all informed. Go to six. Oh. I'll let it come down, yeah. So we're just letting the shockwave expand us here. Flora, please. Okay, go to go to the higher atmosphere now. Four atmospheres or whatever it is. Okay, go up now. What's? We'll All right, go right now, at the bifurcation. Now go. Bifurcation. Now I wanted oh, no, six. Go four. four and then up and then six. I'm at four. Yep. Yeah. Now go. Felt it. Oh, no, no. Expanded well. Oh, that. Uh oh. Felt it. He felt a lot of pain. That's okay. <clears throat> That's. So now you know your size well. Yeah, that's the that's one way. Right that's here. one way Advent to put it. <laughs> yeah. Leaning down. Walk it back. You stretch it all the way down to the adventure. A little more. Keep coming. Go up there. Go to go to four again. He's gonna feel it. Go to four. Mm -hmm. Now are you just hitting us with one round of uh, shocks? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think I think it's expanding. That's all I care. So this one right yeah, here. Yeah, no, I agree. With, I, I agree down there. I think up in this uh, distal SFA, it might be more Two. the of uh, yeah. The whole, uh, down, pull back a little. We'll, we'll get the prox and this together right there. Go up a little. Yeah, I, guess, but I guess that's that's the other question, uh -huh. right? Go like up. you know, if go. if once you've delivered your your lithotripsy and you have balloon ex expansion, like let's just say there is a, a very densely calcified lesion, and after your first run. You have complete balloon expansion. Is there still any benefit to doing eight. the next nine? Eight. Down, eight. pull back. Eight. Down, yeah. down, down. No, I don't, pull back, I don't think there's, there may not be any benefit More. to even doing okay, the other one, now. but you know, if it's densely calcified, I usually okay, now do. Now go up. That's the reason I want to get. General principle. And now I'm we go to eight. Just because I've already purchased the catheter, so I might as well use it more than <laughs> Correct. Yeah. What, the, yeah. what the deal is. No, but no, I agree no, with you. I mean, yeah. Once once it's expanded, you know you've cracked whatever plaque enough to get balloon expansion. So I agree with you. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah. Well, pull back again and go yeah. one more time. But go I do up. agree. Just the just the uh, the the financial aspect. Like once you've you, you've opened it and you're right there, there to use it, mm -hmm. it's almost like it's you do for some reason feel very hard pressed it's to, just to deliver yeah. your Put one expansion. Enough. You know, uh, <laughs> one one cycle. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, here the distal segment was calcified. You could see that you yep. go higher yep. pressure Agreed. to really crack it open. So this might benefit from at least a couple. No. No. But, All yeah, right, let's walk it out. Keep I guess the other question, I mean, like if, if you're going to talk about you yeah. move the emitters, that, that's, that's a little guys? bit of, of, a, of a different story. Yes, I think yes, maybe yes. that may, may have a little bit, but, but not moving it and you had yeah. expansion. I think that's... Uh... All right, very good. So we've expanded everything now. Now wow. the question, I don't think we're going to get away without stenting here. Yeah. Um, especially, yeah. especially that distal. So give me a 6.0 balloon. We're just going to do a 6.0 supera. So Georgie, one of the things we just published is our data based on DCB for vessel prep followed by supera. So, oh. so at this stage, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pre-dilate with a 6.0 DCB since we put a 6.0 like So give us a 6.0 150 or 200 DCB. If you, oh, we only have 150. Yeah, 6.0 150 DCB. And then give us a supera 5.5, please. I, uh, I the, we we have the uh, the two, rangers in the back. Two hundred. We we have two uh, two hundred rangers. Yeah. Six oh one. In the back, you have two hundred rangers in the back. Yeah. Don't answer yet. If you have two hundred, we'll just take the two hundred. Let, so let's. PK, let, yes, sir. So, um, any thoughts on DCB choice here in terms of worry of uh, embolization of fragments and so forth? Yes, or do you think all of that's put to rest? I think it's put to rest, brother. I mean, I think in this kind of case, you know, with everything that's uh, that with the data that everybody has provided, you know, uh, we know that impact clearly is the, is the better DCV uh, in terms of long term data. You can see that yeah. the distal still needs to be ballooned yeah, open ballooned a little it, bit, yeah. which we will uh, at the end. But you can see there is good flow now. But but yeah. we will. De there's a lot of overlap, so, but we'll go ahead and do this. So for us, mm -hmm. it's clearly not something. I mean, it's more about le lens. So right now we have we have a hey how are you we have a 200 ranger and a 150 impact 
Ranger yeah. data is, uh, you know, very impressive as is impact. Uh, we, we just will go with the long-term data that's available. Mm -hmm. I think at this stage, Lutonix is a great balloon. It's available. Great data is available at one, one year. And also registries data is out there, but it's to me, I think when you have core, you know, self-reported registry versus core lab registry, um, I think obviously core lab, uh, core lab is, is in my opinion, better because there's, there's a lesser chance of bias. So I think yeah, at this you, stage, well, you think what, 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 better what, what, than Ranger? Oh, I, w I didn't say that at all. No, I just said the. I don't no, think I mean, I'm go. just, I'm just asking if you think at this point they're interchangeable. Politics. I guess I didn't phrase my question yeah. right. Yeah, so no, you, I, I think, I think DCD, you just pick it by size and length, and you don't well, worry but, so much about whether it's Admiral versus Ranger. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, to me, uh, we okay. don't. You know, I think uh, Ranger. I want to compliment Ranger for having not only Watch doing the, wire, the data. It's okay. Just be careful. Well, just doing the data, but also having the. Let's fine. Leave it there for now. Having mm -hmm. the lens that are available for us, and then and then I think that what I would do now <clears throat> is also go ahead and you know I know that impact is also coming. Give me a little data. Make sure we're okay distally. Uh, is also to say that it, they're coming out with it. They just don't have. It's not out yet. Yeah. So I think that at this stage, I'm just thinking whether I should pull this bit. balloon slightly back a little. No, I think that's good. Yeah. I'll leave it there, Carl. No? No, back a little bit. Back. A little bit. Back. All right. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be balloon overhang. I agree. The 18 yeah, committed to, to, yeah. Ivis yeah. <clears throat> eyes. That's good right there. That's good. That's it. All right. We covered the whole lesion. So we're just going to, what's nominal, guys? Five. Six. Six. So we'll just go to six. Timer on. Um, so after this, <clears throat> obviously, Georgie, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to place a supera here, and then and then uh, we're going to take care of the distal uh, AT uh, to make sure that uh, the AT also looks good. Now, if you're good with time, I want you to stay with us. I'm just going to leave that there. Leave, leave it there, Karthik. No, don't don't blind the wire. Please don't. Yeah, it's, loop. Just, it's okay. Oh. Just leave it. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of wiring with loops in dissection planes, so I think let's just leave it. Um, you know, we'll deal with it as as we uh, as we know how as soon as we're done with the pop. I think regardless, the major issue is going to be the pop. Opening up the pop and this distal SFA is going to give them a lot of blood flow. <clears throat> so uh, while we watch paint dry, um, now, George, are you one of those who's against using a 5.0 Supera, or do you just try to go with the biggest you can? I try to get a 5.5 or above. I, I, I think the 5.0s is, has some problems in terms of long term. But th then again, sometimes you don't have a choice. So I wouldn't say I'm anti it just so I definitely try to go as big as I can because as you know if you can get it in there and, five, and five. deploy it five, 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 eight, you're, you're benefiting from the uh, from the uh, resistance to crush right you're not worried about it continuing to expand so even if you've kind of stuffed it in there it's not like it's going to continue to expand it's going to be whatever <laughs> diameter it is and it's just not going to get crushed yep so we, we decided to go with a five five one fifty supera and once this ranger comes down at three minutes <coughs> We'll go ahead and do it. Ray, can you check on what, uh, Ray? So yeah, I think can you check on picture, what, what do you think about the AT? I mean, right? I know we're going to take another yeah, picture after this. Do you Shinobu? think the AT needs some uh, to call touch up in the form of the sky? I, I think well? so. Distally, I think we need to balloon it, Michelle. I think there's yeah, a lot we have of to balloon it distally. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, you want to take it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, take it, take it. I'm yeah, assuming your question was more directed at the Yeah, that's what I was looking So, just a question. Are you worried? Are you doing Supera for patency? Or are you doing Supera for fracture resistance? Uh, so, well, I'm both. Doing Supera for, but I mean, so, you definitely don't I would do it for fracture. patency. So, but, so, yeah, jo so, Georgie and um, and Raman and, and Vishal and Karthik, you just saw you know um, Ibrahim so eloquently show that the P2 segment has never been studied. So obviously this is an area <clears throat> that uh, we don't have a lot of data in. It's been studied, but not a lot of data. So so if you look at Zilver's uh, Japanese PMA, you have 1.7% fracture rate after three years and doesn't go up, right? Uh, so recently yeah. you have a drug that you're delivering with Zilver. So why not just go with Zilver I'm just, or Illuvia? Why not, right? I'm just asking. All right, ready? Down? Down, guys? Yeah, I I think that you know you're get you're you're asking questions now that are the plague of peripheral vascular, right? I mean, we need all these questions answered, but who's going to pay to answer right. them all with these massive trials? Mm -hmm. So I think here is where you know some people call it a little bit of the wild wild west, and some people just say you got to understand yeah. the technology and just do your your you know use your best yes, judgment. Right. And I just think that 
knowing the properties of something like woven nitinol and knowing the construction of zilver and alluvia, I just think you got to go with the woven nitinol regardless of the paucity of data. Yeah, okay. I think I agree with George. I mean, it's just uh, we're looking for both, like Karthik was talking about, patency as well as uh, uh, yeah. against crush. And of course, higher, bigger the size, the better the patency. And that's why you're looking for 5.5 five, at least 10 deployment. Uh, Oof, but again, Jesus. I mean, some will uh, say, five, five. you know, you could do a DES, but 1.7% versus 0%, I don't know what to come take, come right? It's uh, usually a hard call. All right, Sapara. So, so, guys, you can see here we got a beautiful result. A, you can even put a six or something. Uh, yeah. No, just put a five. I think go with a five, five, Georgie, rather than a six. Karthik is asking for a six. I'll but go it, five, five. I think better, Karthik. So we just I don't deploy. Know, the it. is really big, actually. Yeah. Even but on, we, even on but, Ivos, I think we are almost six, five. But when size. you when you prepped it, yeah. it was. Yeah, it's a six, six, <laughs> but I'm saying you have to use a yeah. seven, oh. So yeah. So I think we go with this uh, five, five, like we talked. The question is where to land it. I'm going to land it at that at that trifurcation, right? Um, the, the struts are going to come out in that area. Don't worry about the balloon or the wire. Yeah, the struts are going to come out in that area. And I got it, don't worry. And we're going to let this go, just keeping the wire more proximal. I tend to do this, Georgie, because I don't really feel comfortable with the wire going too much into the, okay. into the, uh, uh -huh, into the uh, uh, distal vessel and out of our plane of view. So well, now, yeah. okay. We've got some room above the, the takeoff of the AT to land. Yeah. It right, exactly. Even. That's what Karthik and I are going to do. So you can go in a little bit more. No? Yeah. Right there. A little more. Yep, right there. Maybe even a little more. I mean, the first few strengths might elongate. Yeah. Sure. But if the net length is okay, equal, map. then at the end of the day, mm -hmm. everything go. just equalizes and they just What's the do wire? give good results. You do it. Mm -hmm. so you might have to stack in the middle mm -hmm. to really get your optimal yeah. length right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bring up a good point. I wouldn't be afraid good. to stack this. A little bit right. okay. There you go. So now we're in a good spot. I'll just give Karthik Damien, a, little, can you show that? a little puff, just so Karthik feels comfortable with what we're doing. Would any of you purposely deploy it a little bit higher up with a plan to stent <clears throat> with a uh, Zions from the distal yep. pop into yep. the you AT? Could. You could. And then could. do a so KBI right in, into the perineal? and the but, AT to really preserve bit. both of these oscillators. Yeah, but guys, you got to understand, <laughs> doing bifurcation stenting in the periphery has no, no, absolutely not, no not, doubt not, I'd go for no, it. No bifurcation stenting, just uh, uh -huh. stenting okay, provisionally, into the provisionally into the distal or, or not, before, into the AT, and so then before, just ballooning before, the osteum yep, yep, of the, okay. of the yep. peroneal. Or you could deploy it into the perineal and puff and then uh, KBI the uh, AT so you stay in the yeah, six. Yeah, I, I, either way. If it, it looks like, like the, the flap is bigger on the, on the AT, AT side. side. Right. I think yeah, it's perfect I think, here. I think there's a good enough balloon res DCB result to, to start up a little higher because it looked fairly pristine at the very distal mm -hmm. end before the bifurcation. And that way you don't even worry about <clears> this thing not going <throat> into one or the other. Yeah. A little bit. Mm -hmm. You're good, man. You're definitely so how would you win. tackle the, uh, the the ostea of your AT and uh, peroneal? Perfect. Now? Perfect. We just go the cross AT it. Looks, if you, if yeah. you have to stand it, you stand it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think you're going to be fine. I think you're right. I mean, yeah. hopefully we'll be able to uh, be good with the AT ostium as well as not compromising the peroneal. The yeah, idea. Again, I, I think, oh, I go ahead, George. I will tell. I will tell. I will tell you a lot because we know in coronary bifurcations too that sometimes. It's an optical illusion, and what you think is is bad and needs some uh, sort of intervention actually does not. So, we'll do an IVUS right after this, Georgie. Yeah. Or sometimes the other way around, the IVUS also overreads, and now you start seeing dissections and recoils and everything, and then you have to do <coughs> for optimization. So yeah, I mean, in this case, it's getting deployed very well. I mean, you can yeah. see it's just like I mean, the vessel is nicely like, prepped. Yeah, so. exactly. That's the essential part of doing Supera, like they say. Yeah, you know, so, ideally, if we were really going to mimic coronary data, ideally, we would have some sort of method of using a pressure wire or a flow wire and really determining if you have an important uh, lesion or not. But unfortunately, I don't know how or, or when we'll ever be able to figure that out. Well, I think, I think you know, we've, we've given a proposal to Phillips, um, and we hope they, they, they accept it. Uh, you know, me, Tom, um, and uh, Tom Zeller and uh, Eric Sosamski were well, talked about it together at uh, IM Endo in, in Florence. And I think uh, that's going to be something that will hopefully answer that question, George. But, you know, the funding is so difficult at this stage. Um, you yeah. know, a lot of a lot of issues are happening with obviously the companies. 
So it's very difficult uh, to get funding. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things, I think, if we want to move the, uh, our field forward, we're kind of going to have to do these things to, uh, to answer these questions so we know when to stop and when, when to proceed. So, yeah, this is a nice uh, demonstration. The vessel has been very well prepped. And it's, I think it's a, a good uh, idea to know that, you know, if, if, if the IVIS sizing of Supera also helps, uh, we're, we're, we're in the process of publishing that data as well, IVIS uh, sizing versus no IVIS sizing um, uh, from our, our database, but also you, you have the data from uh, the Jack uh, journal that showed that IVIS with DCB improved outcomes. Leave it there, that's fine. Yeah. Just leave it there, yeah, walk it out. Let's take a look. Um, and then and then and then we'll take a, we'll take a picture here, and, uh, and then we'll do a quick IVIS to see how it looks. Might have to put a, a DS like Roman said, but we'll figure it out. So we're just gonna walk this out, Flora. Just gonna walk this out. Yeah, I just tend like I said, uh, I, oh, that's good. It's a good uh, sign. I, yeah, it's a good sign that it just went. <laughs> that might be the perineal, perineal though, but that's yeah. good. Even if it's a perineal, that's good. I mean, if it's perineal, it's okay. Good. Ready? DSA. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I'm leaving that for every all day, oh, yeah. every day, every day. Oh, wonderful. I'm, yeah, let me see down below the, below the foot, and then we'll decide whether we have flow, good flow in the AT or not, and then we'll sign off and finish off the rest floor. We just have to put another uh, supera in the, uh, <coughs> the proximal. Okay. Cinny, Cinny, Cinny. Yeah, so the, the flow came down faster than we could keep up. There's a lesion. Yeah, right there's at a the lesion bar. at the distal AT. As you can see. We'll do it one more time, guys, Cindy. So you can see there's a distal lesion in the AT just above the, uh, see, that's the perineal, and there's the lesion in the AT. Right so right. we have Along to expand that. that. We'll do that offline. Yeah. Georgie, okay. um, I just wanted to show this case to you. Uh, we'll just look at the proximal here, guys, Floro. And you agree, George, you're not going to touch that AT proximal with a stent, right? We're going to leave that. No way. Right. Right. Cindy? No yeah. way. So we're just going to show the prox. Result. This might this might need a supera here. It came across that. Ah, yeah. I might leave it. Yeah. I might leave yeah. that with a DCB. Yeah. yeah. So I think at this yeah, stage, I think the danger there is if you put another supera and you take another picture, you're going to keep doing superas until you're at the. <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> so I think I think what we're going to do offline, guys, is since it's at 9:30, we're going to go ahead. Karthik and I are going to wire this AT. Uh, we're probably going to blue angel plasty the distal, and then and then we're going to leave it um, and take a final picture, but. We'll, we'll stay online um, to recording till the end. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just have it on our thing. But we'll let Dr. Krishan, Dr. Dr. Sharma, and Dr. Kapoor get back to work with Dr. Guja, because I think you have clinic too, right? So uh, me and uh, Ray will stay back and do it uh, with, uh, with Ibrahim. So thank you again, everyone. And Karthik, great job. Uh, Vishal uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, Raman, great job. Thanks to our team, but most of all, thanks to our good friend, George. George, uh, again, it's, it's a pleasure. Thank you again for giving us all your insight and your, and your wisdom to help us get through it. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Perfect. Hey, great case. Awesome. And great to talk to you guys. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Let's keep recording, guys, for the AV team. All right, guys. I just want to uh, thank everybody again for joining us live from here from um, – from Mount Sinai. Thanks again, George, for joining us as well. And we look forward to uh, uh, seeing you next month on May 24th for our next live case. And uh, as always, the rest of this case will be available on our CCC Live uh, webcast website. Thank you very much and see you next month.